And I always feel that the one-to-one -one thing where very important individual tuition can be of great benefit to the student can only by definition happen when there's only two of you there. If you're going to go into depth and talk about things which apply particularly there, it's not going to be understood or interesting by you know, anyone else, whether it's on television or whether it's just uh, public or even, even interested people. Unless the person in that situation, i.e. If, if it was me, goes into a whole lot of generalised explanation as to what you and that student are talking about. In other words, something which can be covered in two minutes probably would need 20 minutes discussion as to say why I've identified this particular problem related to the technical part of it to the way they phrase arpeggios in this particular piece because some, ugh, you go on forever. Sort of things that you cover in a one-to-one -one thing just like that. You can't by de definition do in a public masterclass. It's why I'm a bit dubious about that situation generally. So, what I would like to say, I would like, we would like to do, because we had a little discussion out there, is who's going to play first and what, and all these basic uh, <coughs> outlines, is I think we'll listen to all the solos. Uh, uh, there, are, there are four of you who have prepared, I think, two or three solos each. I'd like, personally, just to hear the lot of them, and for perhaps to have a fairly open general, not discussion, sounds a bit heavy, but sort of comments, perhaps hearing from them first as to what they think of the piece, why they want to play it in that way. And uh, if any of us, including me, but not exclusively me, come up with a, a criticism or a comment, I would like to hear them vigorously defend their own way of doing it. Because they, to the extent that some things are right or more right and more wrong, they may be more right than we are. You know, we've got to know what's being driven at. Then I'll mention two or three areas about general uh, knowledge of the guitar as an instrument, uh, the problems we're likely to face, certain basic things that we should know, which I'd like to discuss more in the second part, and we'll have also some duets. I think uh, two of you have prepared some duets, so we'll hear those in the second part. Um, so if we start with the solos now, whoever wants to play first. Russell. Russell. It's uh, Fantasia by John Dowling, and I'm using the capo because, uh, for various reasons, but maybe we can discuss that later. Yep. And I also have an F-sharp tuning.
Do you want to uh, chat about that a bit first or play the other pieces first? Oh, what do you... Give you a bit of a chat about that. Yeah? Good. Ooh. There's a pin there. Yes. That's what it was. Good. I mean, I'm glad it was something. It's got a really... <laughs> Any questions you'd like to ask Russell or anyone? I just found the, the uh, change before the line eight section interesting. Um, I suppose that goes down to personal um, interpretation, but I just wondered how you felt about the move from one section to the other without a break and, or some sort of leaning in towards that last section. Well, I think that's probably a bit subjective. Uh, in one way, I think without a writ, um, the, the rhythm is more interesting. Rhythmically, it's more interesting. And with a writ, maybe the phrasing is clearer. I don't know, I guess there are cases for both. I, I sort of do it both ways. Sometimes I do a writ and sometimes I don't. It's that link between what instinctively you know you want to do and then finding an explanation in the music afterwards. And it's quite important, I think, to do that. It's not important for how you play it, because you play it like you want to play it, on the basis of the knowledge or the experience you know, you're, that, that, that you want. But, but afterwards, in explaining to someone else, it, it calls for some sort of uh, almost intellectual explanation mm. in order to explain why you do it in such a way, other than saying like you were saying.